our mean message Monday schlong, uh, because we do have quite a number of messages to share. Some of so them are excited. from last week when you were tangling with some folks about birth control. Do you want to yes. set that up in any way? Um, gosh, I just, we had a, uh, it was a short, I think we did a short that Valen put out there on our Instagram. It was forever ago now, I feel like. And um, it was just a comment that we made about birth control because apparently now it's birth control is evil. According to 20 and 30 year olds, they don't like it. And so they don't want anybody to take it and they want it to be banned. Oh my God. I don't know why that's the case, but they think it's toxic and evil. And I'm like, you know, and our stance on that is if you want to take it, take it. If you don't, don't. But a lot of these 20 somethings that are saying it's toxic, they're the same ones who put like botulism in their faces. <laughs> so I just, I just said, I said that in the short and then people get all butthurt and in the Instagram girls, man, they came at me. They just are like, this is a boomer take. Yeah. So that's what the, Mrs. He says, yeah, it's poison. It's a boomer, boomer take. take. Okay. Okay. All right. And then baby rain. Normally I love all your videos. This was a fail. Might as well encourage us to take another COVID booster while you're at it. <laughs> Do some research chicks. I feel We're experiencing like, horrifying results. I feel like COVID like vaccines and birth control are two very different things just based on the research and development life cycle. <laughs> Maybe you should do some research on that. I don't right. know. And yeah. considering the fact that we were both on birth control for mm -hmm. many, 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 many years. Right. Yeah. And we're okay. I'm fine. It should be a personal decision. Yeah, These tags need to calm down. And another thing that I said is that I, I feel like, you know, I'd like to know what some of these 20 and 30 something girls are going to do when menopause happens to them and they decide, oh, I want to take HRT because it's literally the same thing as birth control. Same exact thing. Same yep. exact thing. So if they opt, they're going to have to opt out because they've said this is toxic because it's uh, hopefully they're going to just go natural and they're going to be sweating their asses off like old women. <laughs> from the old country. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you started replying to some of them. Mm -hmm, I did. Yeah. Well, that guy, this guy writes us all the time. Save the Delaware GOP. Yeah. This guy's obsessed with us. We have a couple stalkers on Instagram and he's one of them. And there's a couple of them that will stalk us and I'll delete them. But this guy, I just let him hang on because I just, I feel kind of sorry for him because I think he's <laughs> in a basement somewhere just obsessing over us. So yeah, he, he probably needs to go away, but white I, girls trying to talk shade. So funny, but you don't stop, please. Very entertaining, mindless entertainment for your leaders base. Thank you for your idiocy of being supremacists. I, who's our, who's our leader? I, I who don't is know. A, who's our leader? Do I you mean, guys maybe know? she's referring to Trump. I don't know. He's not my, I don't really think of him as my leader. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not even leading anything right now. He's just running for president. So right. I find that really interesting, but okay. Yeah. But they always call us white supremacists or racist. Oh and mm -hmm. despicable and deplorable. Oh, and according deplorable. to Pauline, she's Thanks, mad. Pauline. We need to remind you about how luxurious and glorious the sheets and the clothing is from cozyearth.com slash cozy chicks. So if you are looking to ha to treat yourself or someone, maybe you're looking for like a high-end luxury kind of gift for someone that's super special to you, consider cozy earth sheets, which are, are made from viscose from bamboo. It's like this softness that you cannot describe until you get your grubby little paws on it. And so first of all, imagine sleeping on that kind of, you know, enveloped in that kind of softness, which is also temperature regulating. But then if you can't get enough of that, wear it, get yourself some lounge wear from Cozy Earth. It's made of the same amazing fabric that just makes you feel good no matter if it's hot or cold. And the best part is it gets softer and softer and softer with every single wash. And they are so sure that you're going to love them that they have a hundred night sleep trial on their sheets. So check them out. Cozyearth.com slash cozy chicks. You can get 40% off right now, 40% off using code cozy chicks, C O Z Y C H I C K S cozyearth.com slash cozy chicks, and then use code cozy chicks 
to get that 40% off. Your life is going to change. That's how good they are. They are freaking amazing. Thanks, uh, let's see. Cult 45 members are so simple minded. Mm. Yeah, we're the ones that don't give a shit that there's no policy platform of our candidate. Right. Okay, we're and the simple minded ones. Got and it. they always have a profile picture of something like that. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. C on the R are the absolute worst. Thanks, M. Thanks. <laughs> Um, she's not too much of a moron. She's got more accomplishments, money, and talent that you'll ever effing have. You ignorant, stupid cult following mother effers. Oh. I'm not even sure who she was, who L was I, talking about. I think that L is talking about Kamala. Probably. Probably about Kamala. Mm -hmm. or, but I, actually it could even be, it could be, this might've been a comment on the Bill Maher clip with the, um, Hawk to a girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because she's got a lot of, oh, okay. She's got a lot of money and talent. Really? Super because, talented. Because she can spit on a, <laughs> on a dude's penis. Is that, <laughs> and that makes her talented? That's she's talented. Incredibly talented. Day, you guys. Well, congratulations, Hawk Tua. Yeah, this was on that, uh, on that video. And this guy, <laughs> bye, okay. bye, ladies. She's doing better than yous. <laughs> I bet David went to Harvard and took that same <laughs> spelling class that David Hogg, <laughs> Hogg did. Yeah. Deborah Murphy says, sad that you do not have investigative reporters who could have answered your questions. I would have liked to know the whole story when I watched the news. First of all, we are not news. No, we're not journalists. We never we're not journalists and we don't have a team of reporters. Mm -mm. So we are the team. <laughs> yeah, you're we, looking at it. it. You're looking at the team right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Phil Wright says, you ladies are clueless. Oh, <laughs> it's always great when they misspell shit. It's my favorite. <laughs> when they try to insult you and then there's a misspelling. It's right. always my favorite. You guys, you have no idea. <laughs> John Becker says, why don't these two do something useful? Rather sit in front of a camera and tell lies. Okay, John. We're not. Lying. Mm -mm, we're not. There's no we're lies not here. Lying. We keep it real. Jerry says these chicks on the right are always wrong. Do they want 2025 in USA? What's he talking? Is he talking about project 2025? We can only assume. Yeah. I'm so sick of them using that project 2025 stuff. Seriously. Again with the research. <laughs> chicks in the dump. <laughs> that was really clever, Phil. Good job, you. Good job. <laughs> I mean, these are so do sad. better. Do better, Phil. Come on. This is just sad that they're yeah, so that's bad not at good. it. Wish wish these two would go get a real job and do something worthwhile instead of running off their big mouths. Well, you're here, John. It's the same. <laughs> is that the same John? That's yeah, the same so. John. He's, He's obsessed with in. us. My favorite yes. new thing that people are doing um, on YouTube a lot is I see some comments where they'll be like, because, you know, at some of the, at the end of some of our shorts, there's like a little uh, call out for our sponsors saying support our show by supporting our sponsors. Uh huh. Yeah. And so a lot of people will respond to that in the comments by saying, I am not going to support your show or your sponsors. <laughs> and I'm having the best time responding to them saying you just did. You are by here. Engaging with our content. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, it's somehow it's like they are forced to watch. Right. Like you willingly went to YouTube or whatever platform and then your eyeballs are watching us. We didn't force you to do that. And then no you're one... engaging, you're listening and right. commenting. You're mm -hmm. helping us. Yeah. So thank yeah. you. Troll. Yeah. <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> thank it. Thank you. you.